Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Trey from Holy Culture. Backstage at Mike Drop the Movie premiere. Still a few hours before the premiere happens. And I have the pleasure to be sitting with DOC Disciples of Christ. Yes, sir. Thank yes, you, sir. brothers, for sitting down. I know it's been a long day. I know y'all had a sound check. Sweating it out before the concert starts. <laughs> um, for those who don't have have a chance to hadn't had a chance to get to know you guys yet, why don't you each introduce yourselves so people know who you are? I'm Michael Brown, Prophet MB. Kelvin Harvey, Absalom, the peace loving brother. Alton Lee, the son of thunder. Matt Stevens, the warrior. Now they've they've nominated a group spokesman, um, <laughs> so we'll see how this works. Bear with us. Um, let me ask you this question. How'd you guys all come together and get started, man? Because I, one of the things I picked up already in just hanging out for a few minutes, you guys have been together, you love each other, you have a, you definitely have a uh, uh, flowing relationship. And I would love to understand how you came together initially. Well, a lot is falling on me. Uh, well, um, Alton and Kelvin initially started in college where they got saved that was the beginning of dlc um i came shortly after um from the east coast um to canton and um me and alton was uh going to the same church mm -hmm. and god had given us the same vision um but he had given it to me at different time and he had it, and he had actually written it down. He actually was obedient to Habakkuk 2 and 2. Mm, he had mm. written it down. And um, so I guess we had really tried to connect with each other for several months, but we, you know, we would always miss each other. We see each other at church, but we'd always miss each other. And then um, I had just gotten married and moved, moved into my first place. And he had a relative that lived across the street from me, and he spotted me. And he came over and he brought all of this, you know, literature and the vision that he had written down was like the same thing that God had spoken to me. Mm. Um, but I had previously been in the music industry and I had kind of uh, bad taste in my mouth, if you will, from the secular industry. And at first I didn't really want to do it, you know what I'm saying? But eventually we, you know, he's persistent and we, you know, we, you know, God, one thing led to another. We started the same corners. We used to sell dope and do all of the shenanigans. Mm -hmm. we, we ended up going out with a, 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 a drum machine and a bass amp and a 50-foot extension oh, cord. <laughs> you know, Plug it into people's houses. Yeah, no, that was the early beginnings. Yeah. How would you articulate what the vision was at that time? Save people by any means necessary. Mm. Um, we were all, uh, well, I can speak for us three. Matt had known Christ for a while, but we were so on fire. It was just like, hey, you have to experience this. Mm -hmm. This is the, this is the new high. Forget crack, forget drugs, forget <laughs> weed. Yeah. Man, you need to get on this Holy Spirit high, bruh. Mm -hmm. We gonna hook you up. Yeah. We got something for you. Right. So that was it. That was our yeah. zeal. That was, that was God's, you know, it felt like he had it heavy on us, man. Just, you know, get them to feel and understand what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Then they'll come along with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the name is right in your face, Disciples of oh, Christ. Yeah, I mean, it's we, not like we, you, we like, wasn't hiding it. No Trojan horse strategy with that. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. But they used to think we was actually high and whatever. Because that's, you know what I'm saying? We we just high energy, you know. And it's, man, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. I said, man, you just don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now you, you fast forward several years later. Right, um, coming together with something like this. What's the journey been like for y'all? What do you, I would love to hear what you, what are you guys doing now? So, I mean, it's been interesting because we, the four of us hadn't been together uh, to minister mm -hmm. under the auspices of DOC in over 25 years. I think mm -hmm. Matt sent me a text today that he documents it was May of 1993. Wow. Wow. Um, since, wow. we since we all played together yeah. so uh with you know with me i remember just um you know just moving forward in life and you go into corporate america and you still minister being uh, uh involved in my local church mm -hmm. and still communicating with the brothers except for mike we've been literally we had been looking for mike for like 
10, 15 years, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. he was just, you know, had one of these uh, stigmas of social media. And, mm-hmm. you know, so we, you know, understandably so, right? Mm-hmm. So I had just reconciled in my heart, like, you know what, man, DOC, you see on face, uh, Facebook or social media, there'd be some students or, you know, that are now grown with grandchildren. Right. They're saying, oh, I remember you guys. And so with me, it was not, uh, it was like, you know, never wanted to relive the past. We're just moving forward now. And it's always a great memory. Mm-hmm. Like, man, you know, these guys will always be my brothers, right. but never did it enter to my mind. You know, the Bible says, eye is not seen, ear is not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of men, the things that God has prepared for those that love him, yes. but he has revealed them to us by his spirit yes. so i was content with saying like you know what man that was a great ride and we all stay in contact when we can um and then just through a series of uh, events and i think you know obviously divine providence uh mike and i got back together he found me on facebook october of 2016 mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. It was all up in my dm and everything and i was working on a christmas project for artists at that time and i said hey man you know get together why don't you come to town you know sing on this one i'm you know i've been doing some writing love to get your feedback on it so we did that and then we connected with the producer that what i was working with and he said what would it be like if doc got back together mm-hmm. you know since he saw the chemistry that mike and i still had from mm-hmm. 25 years we're like i mean okay that'd be cool so we got in contact with the brothers and you know through a, a couple i don't know was it a maybe a couple months maybe mm-hmm. something like that or and uh, then we finally hooked back up. They came down Medicine Nashville, went went to the studio, did a single, and it was just it was cool. And was like, okay, that was a good ride. Right. Which and, is on YouTube, which is called Don't Cry. Don't Cry. Don't Cry. That's the last yes. unreleased single from DOC. Yeah. Don't Cry is on YouTube. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So you can check it out. So um yeah, and then, of course, Darius gets in contact with us. There's been so many different, of not so many, but uh, quite a few different uh, individuals that have embarked upon doing a documentary over the years. Mm-hmm. So I, I can't tell you how many calls I've gotten. Right, and, of right. course, just out of respect, and you just never mm-hmm. like, oh, sure, we'll be glad to participate. Sure, right, we'll right. be good. You know, so we've gotten together so many times just to do a interview. But I just think it's awesome that the mantle uh, had fallen on Darius and how God had given his vision. He's seen it through and has an amazing team yeah. to work with him. So it's great to be back with these guys, and uh, we look forward to seeing what God is getting ready to do with us all together. That's all I yep. He said, under the auspices of DLC. You hear when he started? I said, I thought I was about to get up and pastor. I thought she was about to say, he passed through the flock and the bishop over and, uh, you know what I'm saying? He said, under the auspices. That's this should yeah. talk right there. Right. 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 So, so how has it felt to come back, not only together, you four physically, but be with all these these pioneers, man? Uh, when you got to town yesterday, came oh. to the event last night, and the dinner, what was that like when you walked in the room, man? Uh, this is just so surreal. That's mm-hmm. all you can say. We don't worship men, but we celebrate the men and women yeah. that we're part of. And at the time, because there was no Christian hip-hop genre, there was no um, market. There was nothing that was pulling us together mm. except that we were all struggling. Right. And so when we'd see each other, it just changed. I mean, nothing but deep admiration, love. Yeah. Yeah. But then when you get to be together, like we got to have dinner together last night, be here today, you know, you're looking at, I mean, I don't know what we call them, godfathers, fathers, the uncles, you know, Mike Peace, yes. Steve Wiley. You see Soup and SFC and all the guys, Fred. And PID, it's just surreal to all. I don't know. We've never all been together at once. This is the mm. first time, I think, at least in my experience, that all of us have been in one place at one time. Yeah, mm. that's true. And that's a wow. 30, 40 year G- journey. Wow. G- well, GMA, a couple Yeah, years, but, but we weren't it was allowed to hang Somebody out. was missing. <laughs> yeah, right. Somebody would be on the road, somebody. But yeah, this is the first time we, you have a clear representation of the pioneers of this. Yeah. John or Christian. Yeah. 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 What do you guys, awesome. I mean, as you, you know, as this plays out tonight, you're going to hit the stage, man. You're going to watch each other, support each other. What do you hope happens? What are you prayerful about, man, for this for this movie as a part of, because when I think about, you talk about 25 years stretch, right? And then staying in contact in some way, shape or form, mm-hmm. then coming back together to do a small project and being mm-hmm. a part of this. Man, that's a tapestry of work and ministry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is another part of that tapestry. Mm-hmm. What do you hope happens? Or prayerful about that happens with this. Well, me personally, um, 
I'm praying that, you know, these guys, because there was a question that was asked today to each one of us, uh, when was the last time you had been out on the road and actually mm. done ministry? Mm. And, you know, one of them said, well, 2002, one said 99. You know, we've had an opportunity to be out, you know, uh, last year. Um, and um, so, you know, God has blessed us in that in that area. But I would love to see ministries revitalized yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. and that so good. you yeah. know because you know there's a, there's generations that came up after us yeah. we're the elder statesmen yeah you know so, and then you know uh secular they they play homage and tribute to you know to their pioneers Come on now. and Come on now. you know and i'm thinking and i'm hoping and i'm praying yeah. that that same thing follows yeah. here yeah. yeah love that yeah if i could add on to that what, what sure. i would li really like to see is uh our music find new people and touch their hearts, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. people yeah. don't understand that, yeah. you know, God used us to fill that music with his spirit, mm -hmm. with the words and the power mm -hmm. to go forward and bring about a change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I still believe to this day. Yeah that those songs are so powerful and I believe it will begin to touch a new generation, you know, and, uh, and this being the opportunity for them to grasp it and say, what is this? Yeah. Well, Lord bless my soul. This is touching me. Wow. This is moving me. This is filling me because that's what we've imparted into it. So that's what God expects to get out of it. So he's going to, yeah. I believe he's going I love to that, man. do something oh. something more. I'm looking for my phone because, like, literally, as I was getting on the plane, uh, oh, yeah, I was I went to Spotify, man, to look up all the groups, and I was so happy to see that almost every group had their stuff on Spotify, right? Because if you think about when your music yeah. was created, sure. um, you know, you can say, well, well, you know, you can't expect it to be there. This was pre, yeah. I mean, this is like, you know, yeah. CD. Yeah. Who yeah. was doing cassette, cassette tapes? Cassette, the cassette tapes. Started with cassette right? tapes. A, few, a few got to the MP3 <laughs> era, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But um, I was listening to y'all's uh, To The Dome, man. I kept playing To The Dome. Wow. Okay. Yeah, like I, I was rocking to the dome on the plane. Okay, that people, thing was that thing was speaking it. to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's exactly so I'm, what I'm, I'm, I'm about. right with you, man. It's, it's there, and hopefully this movie um, sheds some exposure for people who didn't yeah, see it. You absolutely. Know? Yeah. So let me ask you this um, last question. We we talked about this at our table last night a little bit, and the um, the the fact is that we didn't have a passing of the baton from your generation as pioneers to the next generation of Christian hip hop, right? And now. If you think about it, we're right in between the second and third generation, right? Yeah. And so you don't have that, since it wasn't intentional, there wasn't necessarily mentorship mm. and whatnot, right? Uh, some of the good and some of the challenges weren't passed on with any wisdom per se, right? right. The right. good news is there seems to be some thirst from the newer generation, right? Yeah. That sometimes I see on Twitter and in different mm. conversations where people say, yo, I hear you, but man, we didn't we didn't get a chance to know them. And matter of fact, we don't even know who all them are. You mm -hmm. know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah. so I want to see this as an opportunity for you to pass on something, right? So if you've got right now specifically for the newer Christian hip hop cast that are starting to do ministry, they're saying, wow, DLC, give me some advice, man. What what word of advice would you pass on to that newer Christian hip hop artist? Run! No. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> There's always a little truth in every joke. <laughs> That's what my wife said. <laughs> There's always a little truth in every joke. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. God, man, just doing the right things for the right reasons would be the, the first mm. thing, right? Mm. Um, and just so many different things. But praying that God would give you wisdom to be able to navigate between business and mm. ministry, mm. right? It just, it's, such a, it's such a slippery slope, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you can, on either side of those, there's a ditch. Yeah. You know? Is there any particular lesson that pops out that you learned in that, in that respect? Well, I mean, to be honest, uh, it's when you have dedicated your life to Christ and serving him through this medium of ministry and the lack of financial support yeah. that that uh, did not 
come in many times through the local church mm-hmm. and uh, other entities that were supposed to support you. Yeah. And and you're and you're truly doing this from your heart. Then yeah. you really. I know for for us, we had to guard our hearts a lot of times mm-hmm. and just just you know you you know go somewhere you drive halfway across the country and you get. You're supposed to get a love offering, and sometimes you don't get either. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, maybe mm-hmm. maybe a bucket chi- bucket of chicken. Mm-hmm. You know. And so mm-hmm. so uh, those times though, what it did though, uh, it showed us what we were made of, and right. what I mean by that is what's really had been instilled in us. Yeah, right. So when that testing came and to challenge your hearts, did we complain about some things? Did we? Mer- sure, absolutely. Did we? What disappointed? Yeah, the human side of us mm-hmm. spoke very clearly many times. You know, amongst mm-hmm. ourselves, right? Um, but at the end of the day, we realized that, man. You know what? It was because of Christ that we started this, yeah. and it was all. It's all about glorifying God, yeah. and um, through that. You know, that's where we actually feel most fulfilled when you're doing what God has called you to do. So just encourage them to stay the course, stay the course and do the right things for the right reasons and ask for the wisdom of God to navigate between, you know, those two entities, which can certainly be a challenge at times. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you guys so much, man. Appreciate all you brothers. Don't run, man. (laughs) Stay in the race. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Y'all heard it right here, guys, from Holy Coaching right here. Again, at Mike Drop. Give it up for the DOC Disciples of Christ. Until next time, God bless. Peace.